Hi everyone and welcome to Valley Crafty Corner. Um, last video I was explaining how to make your own kit and try to uh, stretch your own supplies, kind of shop at home first before uh, you start scrapbooking. Um, and I was explaining how I made eight layouts out of the Studio Calico kit that I got uh, for me. So I kind of show you what I'm going to make for my kit. Um, I pulled lots of papers, so I'll probably get quite a few layouts out of this, but I'm going to try and stretch these supplies as far as I can. So I'm just going to start off with the paper. I'll start with the papers first, and then the cardstock will make sense. So um, it's kind of nice to start off with a sheet that you can cut up for like journaling or pictures or whatever. So I took this one from Echo Park, and it's from the Charming Collection. Or no, sorry, it's from the This and That collection, and it's called Journaling Cards. So that's that one. Uh, this one is from the My Mind's Eye Follow Your Heart, and it's the Be Amazing, Be the Best paper. So there's this side, and I chose it for this graph side. So there's that one. Then this print here. Actually, I'll stand these up. I'm making that uh, background here. So there's this one here, and this is like a yellow plaid. And it's from the My Mind's Eye Miss Caroline collection. And it is called Fiddlesticks You and Me Bloom Paper. So it's this on this side, and this on the other side. And then everybody's familiar with this paper. It's got it upside down. Uh, this is the Neapolitan uh, Hazy Horizon paper. So this one's been shown quite a bit. Nice yellow chevron. Uh, this one is Follow Your Heart. And it's Be Amazing Honey Blue paper. And I'm going to try and use this honeycomb pattern. And if not, it's got a nice plaid graph on the back for journaling. Uh, this is from a Studio Calico kit before, but I never used all the paper. And it's from the Farmhouse collection, and it's called Hand Picked. So this is this side, and this is the other side. And this one is from Crate Paper. And it's the Paper Heart Collection, and it's called Romance. And I got this one for either side. And this one is from the Miss Caroline Dilly Dally Best Vines paper. So this nice blue dot. And this really busy background on the other side, so obviously I'm not going to be using this. I shouldn't say that. You never know. And this one is the Follow Your Heart Be Amazing Geo Star pattern. So that's that tiny little star print. And then there's this hexagon kind of print pattern on the back. This is the Studio Calico uh, Abroad Collection. And this one is called Departure. So it's got this nice light blue print. And then on the back side, it's the uh, matte paper. This one is from My Mind's Eye, Follow Your Heart, Be Amazing, Dilly, Blue Doily Paper. Could definitely use it for either side. Uh, this is again from um, Studio Old Studio Calico Kit. I thought I could use it as a background, so this is kind of getting more into my background prints. Uh, this one is Everyday Fun, Fun Games Paper, and it's from the Craft Fun Day line, and it's got the Craft Alpha on there. And this is the back side. And then this is from the Studio Calico Classic Calico Collection, and it's the Chevron 1. And this is the second collection, and just a craft on the other side. And then this is the My Mind's Eye Dilly Dally Best Checkered Paper. I'll use this side. This side is the red and white checker, so it doesn't really go with other papers I picked. I threw this paper back in there to try and see if I could use it, and that's that ba basil really thin paper. Um, so I'm going to try and use it. 
And then for the cardstock, I'll just fan it out here. I just picked ones that kind of coordinated. So I've got two craft. This blue that is from one of the Studio Calico old collection. This yellow uh, print paper is, I believe, called Gold Rush, and it's from Close to My Heart. Then this kind of pinky ready color is from an old Studio Calico kit. And then this brown, all these other colors are from Close to My Heart. So it's like a cocoa, a dark gray, a white, a cream, and then a black. I just threw the black in because it would be nice to mat some photos. So that's the card stuff. So let me just get these papers out of the way. And I'll show you the embellishments that I picked. So for the alphas, I threw back in the stickers that I had from the kit for May because I still have quite a few left and they do coordinate with what I have here. So of course the stickers that can be the mistable stickers from Heidi Swap, these alphas, uh, these stickers from American Crafts, these glitter ones. But what I threw in is I didn't have a lot of small letters, so I threw in these mini market stickers, and they are pink and black and gray and cream. And then I also threw in this if I, in case I wanted some texture, the jelly bean soup. Uh, it's like the corrugated alphas. You can see the H and the O there that I've popped out, so it's corrugated. So the, that's the alphas. Just get those out of the way. Uh, so then the other things I threw back in, I threw back in the uh, banners because there was a lot of colors that still coordinate with this and I like to try and use it up. So that's going back in the kit. Um, the other things that are going back in the kit are these wood buttons and this tin pin. So the one with the numbers and this tin pin. Oops. This one with the camera on it. That one's going back in the kit. Um, I pulled out some uh, pins. I'm not sure if you can see those. I'm just going to open these up. So I've got a pin that's got a star, which that coordinates with something later. This one that's kind of like silvery. And then these ones that are just glass beads. So those ones pins I pulled. And then some of this stuff is from old collections, like old Studio Calico kits. Oh, I also threw back in these hexagon shapes because they match the hexagon in that one paper pack. So I threw those back in. Um, I had these from the Follow Your Heart collection. And there's like these ones down here, like this pink one. It matches that one piece of pink paper, and this one matches. But then there's also like these other brown ones, and they'll match. So I pulled those out of my stash. This is from a past kit, a Studio Calico kit, and it's uh, the ribbon. So I never used it, so I'm going to try and use it this time. Uh, what else do I have over here? Okay. Here's where the stars come in. I had these from Close to My Heart, and they're just chipboard stars. And so I'm going to try using them because there was that star pattern paper, um, just because I thought it might it might go. We'll see what happens with that. I have some brads from the Neapolitan collection left over, and there are some of the colors that match, like especially this one right here. This matches the colors as well as this one here because it's just a neutral color. It'll go. So I pulled those. I also pulled, um, I left these back in the kit because I didn't use very many and they go with that pink color. And then I put some black bling in there. It's just on the string. So I used that in one of the papers that I did. So it was just on my desk. I thought it would match still. Um, there's these pearls, which is not the exact match of the paper, but it might be able to go. So I put those in there. And then just some plain white pearls. These can be inked, so I pulled those. Um, some wood frames because there's wood paper in there. And these are from the Craft Fun Day. Every It's called Everyday Fun Banners. So 
it says like, oh, happy day, wonderful, best day ever, love you, splendid. So those should match some of the papers. And like this is obviously more than I'll ever use, but it's better to have a little bit more out than not enough. Uh, this is a frame from last month's kit from the Studio Calico uh, April kit. So I only have one frame left, so I'm going to try and use that. Um, I have these kicking in my drawer, and it's my row of vintage trickets, and they're just crochet doily, so I'm going to try and use those. And some wood veneer banners. Let's see what we can do with those. I also threw back in the kit the 23 uh, journaling cards because there are the pink and gray and um, uh, other colors in here that match, like this pink and gray. The orange, this sort of greeny color, it doesn't really go. Um, but um, once you have like other papers in there, it just might. So I threw them back in just because of the pink and the gray. Um, I had these from the Neapolitan collection and they were, they matched the colors of that, uh, uh, crate paper, paper. So the crate paper, paper, <laughs> anyway, they uh, have the gray and the pink in here. So I think I'm going to try and use some of those. I have some of the die cut, uh, butterfly stickers so there's this blue this yellow the pink the craft like they all match the color so I'm going to try and use that I never I only used a couple of these brads from last month's kit for uh, the April studio calico kit so there's a few in here that match the papers so I threw those back into a kit um, this is also, again, from a Studio Calico kit. Uh, some of these colors don't go exactly, uh, like this one would go, this one up here probably won't, depends on what kind of layout I put it on, but, uh, I'm going to try and use this. I never used any of it, so we'll try. Uh, this was, again, from another Studio Calico kit, the craft envelopes. See what I can do with those. And uh, I also threw back in the London Market uh, button, missed both brads, or buttons. I'll try these again, see what we can do with them. Uh, then, this is stuff that I had sitting in my drawer as well, so I'll just go through the die cuts. So this is from the Pink Paisley and Farrah collection, or I'm not sure which pack it's from, but I think it's the junk journal. So I pulled that. Uh, this was a die cut from um, one of the pieces of paper from, I think it was crepe paper. Uh, so anyway, I had it sitting in my drawer, so I'm going to use that. Uh, one of the die cuts from that uh, Polaroid picture from the Neapolitan collection. So it goes, so I'm going to try using that. Uh, this is from the Miss Caroline Fiddlesticks called story title so that matches so see if I can get that in there and these are also from an old um, studio calico kit and like there's a plain one and then there's the one that has like the punch out flower so we'll see what it can do with that and then these match the paper these are from Webster's pages so there's this love one uh, butterfly one this one says, I love you. The backs don't really match, but that's not what I pulled them for. I pulled this twine, and it's from the Follow Your Heart Be Amazing uh, line. So it's got the, the burlap kind of looking twine, the yellow, and the blue. So that matches all those papers. I pulled these, uh, oh, who is it, Prima? The Prima Sculpted Flowers, I've never used, I lost some, like, I don't even know where they are, they keep falling off, but I've never used them, so, and they match the paper line, so we'll see. Some of them do, not all of them. Uh, these were other stickers that were in my collection, so this is the Miss Caroline 
Howdy Doody Lovely stickers. So those match the paper lines that I pulled. And these ones, not all of the colors match, but it has the stars on it. It has a bike, which is very in now. Uh, some bingo stickers. Um, these are like a craft color, so this matches. This blue isn't exactly, but anyway, it's from the Close to My Heart. Uh, I don't even remember what collection. It's old, but I was going to use it up. And last but not least, I had some of these chipboard stickers. Now, not all of them are going to go again, but a lot of them will. So this is the My Mind's Eye Be Happy collection. So this is just the chipboard stickers. So I will keep you posted as to what layouts I make with it. And I challenge you guys to make your own kit. I hope this helps you uh, figure out a way to pull your papers, to kind of shop at home. Um, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll try and help you out as best I can. And I hope everybody has a great day. Thanks. Bye.